little bit about anterior pelvic tilt. So first, it's not something that even physical therapists are very good at agreeing about whether or not an individual has an anterior pelvic tilt or doesn't have an anterior pelvic tilt. So I want to share with you a reel that I put together earlier this year that talks about when it might be an anterior pelvic tilt and when it might not be an anterior pelvic tilt, just to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. I'm just saying this because it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter, but it does. But if we establish that you are in an anterior pelvic tilt, then it's going to create length in the front of your body. And when you keep your abs long like that, it's hard to learn to contract them and shorten them because your go-to pattern is to hold them in this extended or lengthened position. And so the like answer to that almost always is, well, let's learn how to strengthen and contract your abs. And most of the time, people will tell you to lie on the floor. But lying on the floor for a lot of people who really tend to hold length in their abs is a hard position to get a hold of. And so one of the reasons why I really like getting out of a pelvic tilt and standing, especially with this forward lean that I show you in today's reel, is because not only does the band help you to engage your abs and prep everything before you get started, but that forward lean helps you to engage your back. And it's easier to find your abs when you have the back of your body, your glutes, your lats, your back muscles turned on because then you have someone to like pull against. Like if you imagine a tug of war, we need the back side of your body to work so the front side of your body can pull against it. But here's a reel that explains that in a much better way than I just explained it. And so when you have someone who tends to hold length in their abs and you tell them to contract their abs, it's fairly difficult for them to do because it's not a pattern that's easily accessible for their brain and it's not a, a skill that they're particularly good at. But when you set them up to succeed, when you coordinate their ab contraction with their exhale, when you prep that with a good inhale, when you prime them by having them pull the band apart, when you lean forward so you get out of that arch, when you turn on the backside of the body so that the abs have something to pull against, then everybody is working together and it becomes so much easier to find your abs. But you got to add in all the right surrounding pieces so that abs don't have to work in isolation. And then it makes a lot more sense of how to engage your abs properly so that you can apply that in positions that aren't exactly what today's real is and become more like your everyday life.